are joined by some TikTok celebrities, Zid and Olivia. We're gonna take turns each round trying on items that has been served to us on our TikTok for you pages. I can fight. We can all fight him. We can all fight him. You're just a bunch of crime fighters. So you guys, welcome back to Clever Style and welcome back to our new show, TikTok Tested, where we have fallen into a deep fashion hole on TikTok and have been encouraged to buy all of the TikTok fashions that are on our For You pages. Now today, it looks a little different. I'm not with my normal Clever Style crew and that is because we are joined by some TikTok celebrities that you know, you love, Sid and Olivia! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Usually they say a lot more in a very short period of time, but I really need to know how you guys are feeling about this because you guys have been on TikTok for a while, creating a lot of comedy, a lot of really fun stuff. Yeah, we're not we're not really fashion gurus, but we like clothing. It covers our bodies. It feels good. We love that. I like when clothing is fun and looks good on me, and that's not every clothing. And we're both on mm. fashion TikTok even though we don't really make fashion content. That's yeah. true. And we believe all of it and we've spent all of our money. Don't you guys love how they just dance off of each other? It's literally like they write like the story that you just can't stop watching. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here today because I'm really curious to see what two amazing comedian women are getting served on fashion TikTok. Okay, so here's how the show works. So we each have ordered an item that has been served to us on our TikTok for you pages. And we're gonna take turns each round trying on those items and letting you guys know on a scale of one to 10 if you should order it. If it's a 10, that means you need to add to cart. And if it's a one, that means just forget it ever happened. Just run away. Just move on Escape with your life. Escape the country. Are you, you're gonna go first? Yeah, I'm gonna go first. I'm, I'm gonna absolutely love it. I'm gonna put on these clothes and it's gonna make me feel 14 and good. We're all, right. all gonna put on these clothes. Hopefully we'll all look 14 and good. Thank God. <laughs> that was served to me by my For You page. They wanted me to wear this, and now I'm wearing it for your yeah. viewing pleasure. <laughs> Dad, just go just away. Just click away. Click away. Or turn subscribe. It off. You can also do that. This this is not my dad. <laughs> so here's the thing. This is a shirt. This is a <laughs> scarf uh, from Amazon. A lovely girl named Kate Bartlett made a, a video showing all the different ways you can tie a scarf as a shirt. Uh, we tried that. Um, she does it in so many different ways. We tried them. Uh, you can get these in a, in a pack of four from Amazon, super easy. And if you're confident and you're letting, you're like willing to let one pop out in the grocery store, absolutely do this. I have to know how one does such a thing. Ooh. So basically it was, it was made into a big uh, triangle, kind of like a handkerchief mm -hmm. for snot. And then you and then you tie it around the front and you choke yourself with the, the ends. Mm. And it's tied in the back so that I can't swallow. I feel like I would like it so much more on someone else, but on me it doesn't feel like I can twist my torso entirely and I need that for everyday usage. My torso <laughs> yeah. is a tool. Yeah. She uses her torso every day. I use it every day wow. and I can't do that with this. Yeah, how could you like drive a car? So this is just not my vibe. Okay, Olivia, what about you? Oh, well I tried one of the other ways. I tried a couple of ways to tie it. I will say, did not work for me. It's no. hard. But this worked. I definitely like this style. Like I me like how too. it looks. I don't think it's a shirt. And the way I did mine was exactly how you did yours, but backwards. <laughs> oh! I would like a picture of myself in it, but I would like to never wear it again, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because I can't move yeah. and I'm so sure something's gonna come out. But that's okay because we're all friends. Right. Well, we're all friends and what's some nipple among friends? Classic phrase, <laughs> what's some nipple among friends? <laughs> um, so I just went really classic with, with it, but I do think there are a bunch of ways to wear this. If you are really, if you went to like, you're an Eagle Scout or like you have a really smart mom who knows how to sew things, although your mom probably wouldn't let you wear it like this out anywhere. <laughs> I would wear really that good. that way. I would wear what you're wearing. Yeah, I think this way is probably the best for just everyday purposes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like that it's a really big scarf too. Like This is like t folded over an additional time under here. There's a lot of fabric, so you can go a little bit more like family reunion friendly if you really want to. I love that. I or you can wear it to, to the clubs. Do people go to the clubs anymore? I don't know. Ain't nothing wrong bringing the old me back. Ten, I'm gonna give my big scarf shirt a four because while I think it looks really good on other people, if I can't use my body, what's the purpose of it? Yeah, I feel that. Okay, gosh, that's 
It's persuading me. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna rank mine a eight out of ten. But it's only for people who are really good with, te with like textiles. I think it gets points for um, that it's creative. Uh, and that it looks good, and I think it's subtracted points because it's hard and it's not practical. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Thank you so much for agreeing with me. <laughs> the customer is always right. So this look also came with jeans that yeah. you ladies are wearing. I did not wear them here today because my zipper is broken. <laughs> it's okay, these actually look really similar. Yeah, yeah I think it has a similar vibe. It really does, it really does. But tell me about these jeans. So these are these like really classic Zara wide pant uh, jeans. They're everywhere on TikTok. I believe the girl I saw who wore this was, a, her name was Ruby Jane. Um, and her video had like 300,000 views on it, and people are really into this look. They call it vintage, yet they're all 14, and none of them remember that era. <laughs> vintage, so adorable. But I am really loving it in, in the shape of it. Could I bend in these? No, there's no way. Yeah. But I do like standing in them still and, and never having to do an activity. Yeah. And I mean, it's also awesome because the pockets aren't usable, <laughs> and so you can do this fun game where you go like this to wait, stick yours something Wait, yours are more inside. usable. Yeah, wait, why do my pockets work better than yours. I think mine don't fit uh, that worse. Better. <laughs> I think they're really cute. I, I really like the whole vibe of them. I don't know if they look great on me, but I think they are they really do. cute. They do! Oh, thank you. They do. But they're really cute. I wish the fabric was a little stretchier, but I wish that about everything. Yeah. I would buy these in like two sizes up that felt really nice and baggy and like I could eat at least three or four <laughs> meals in them. Or I would wear them in this size and I would just go like this all day. No, not worth it. No. Keeping in mind that these jeans are $40, I'm gonna say how much can you really pay workers if a pair of jeans is $40 <laughs> and I give them a zero out of 10. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say I would size up, but besides that, they fit and they're like cute and uh, like, I'd say a, a, a seven. And they're real seven. denim, so they'll probably last you a while. Yeah, they're 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 definitely fun. They're like a fun, solid pant. Well, I don't, I can't accurately judge these particular pairs of pants, but I have this at home. I would say size up. I do love them. I do wear them a lot. I would personally give them an eight out of ten because I do wear them a lot. But the sizing, you almost have to try it on. Like you can't just ship your size and expect it to fit. It'll it's, shake. <laughs> yeah, you'll shake. I think it's time to change into Olivia's pick. Very excited. Okay, so these are the pants I found on my For You page. They are I Am Gia pants. There's a bit of a flare. There's this cool trendy thing where it laces up around your waist. These are supposed to be like 89, 90 bucks, mm. but they're on sale for like 50 bucks, which Gosh. is awesome. And uh, I saw these from Ella Mendelssohn's TikTok. Mm. Uh, they're just like super cute IMG pants. I, I think they're really comfortable, which is a huge plus for me. The fabric doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels like thicker than I expected. Mm -hmm. They feel like good workout pants or pajama pants, but you can wear them every day. I love this. I would like to be on your For You page. Uh. <laughs> um, these feel like a second skin uh -huh. to me. Um, it's perfect. You feel like you can walk around mm -hmm. on the town, but also do things with your legs and torso. <laughs> yeah. I'm all about practicality. This is very practical. I can do anything. I can fight. We can all fight it. We can all fight fight it. They're just a bunch of crime fighters. You do not talk about Fight Club. The thing that's cool is too is it's reminiscent of tie dye or or like a big uh, shedding snake. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I like that for me. Yeah, it it kind of on the rack gave me like, oh that person ate something that disagreed with their stomach and they just had an accident and they had to leave work early. But when I put it on, it kind of really came to life in this beautiful, natural montage of a pattern. I really love it. I think they're really comfortable. I did another TikTok tested video recently where we tried dupes for these from Amazon and it didn't, it's not even close. I am Gia, absolutely killing it. Well now we know, it's don't go even, for the dupes. Don't go for the dupes. I mean, unless you're on a budget and you really need to, I get it. But if you really love this look and you want it, it is worth it to invest, especially now that they're on sale. We're gonna link all of these in the description below, by the way, so if you wanna shop any of our looks, go just shop to your heart's content. I'm gonna rate them a nine out of 10. Uh, they could be a little bit more perfect but they're pretty close to perfect. So I'm gonna call them a nine out of 10. I like it. I love the length, I love the fabric. I think there's so much good about it. It's slightly low rise, just a smidge, maybe a mid rise, which is against my religion. <laughs> 
So uh, I'm only a high rise religion kind of gal. I feel like I would have to ding it an eight out of 10 for the fact that it's cuspy. These pants are a 10 out of 10. Forget Woo! what these say. <laughs> These pants are a 10 out of 10 and you need to buy them right now. I am sponsored by IMG according to me and no one else. These pants are the perfect print. My mom will like them. I will like them. I'll walk down the street feeling comfortable. If somebody approaches me, I can threaten them. And yeah, these are my these are my favorite pants that I've ever seen in my life. You're all welcome. Okay, Olivia, I think you need to also talk about this top. Yeah, I saw this top on Fashion Rocks. Um, it is $8. It is from Yes Style. Uh, it's a corset top, it buttons all the way, or hooks all the way, yeah. which is fun and cute. I love when shirts cut down in this V. I think it's very Sorry. fun. Um, I really like it. My only real note is it's so see-through. Yeah. Is it? It's, yeah. <laughs> cool, that's me noticing that. You're the last that. to know. <laughs> I think it's a really cute cut, a cute style. It is super see-through. I hate wearing bras, and some of you guys are bra-hating me in the comments. Like, go get a hobby, okay? It's okay to not wear a bra sometimes. Or granny. Who wears Sid hates bra? bras? I'm yeah. sorry. Come Never. over, we can have wine and talk about our problems Okay, together. perfect. I'll um, take off my bra and come over too. Come on, you're invited <laughs> also as well. Um, I love this idea. I just think it's a little thin and that's the only reason why I wouldn't add to cart. But I think together, this duo, it does feel like, I don't know, I'm ready for a rodeo. I really like this shirt. I don't know that I would pair it with these pants just because the lace uh, mm -hmm. coming over the end of the corset top makes it a little bit awkward. However, I really do like this shirt. It reminds me of the Renaissance Fair, which is my favorite place to go. So uh, you can wear this at the Renaissance Fair. You can wear it at like a brunch or like a club. Um, and so I like it a lot. It feels stretchy. You can move yeah. in it, but you can still push your tatas up. Okay, so we've got to rate the top. Um, if the top was made of different things, I would rate it higher, but from this specific top, from this specific brand, I'm gonna rate it a six. Because I like it, but it's too thin. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a six as well. I think Olivia knows what she's talking about. I don't. I'm gonna give this shirt a nine because I didn't even notice it was see-through until now. And I'm gonna go with my first impression. And that's on period. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the point in the video where we are looking at my For You page in its truest, realist form. Uh, Laluski on TikTok promoted this dress. She looked so cute. She was like, oh my gosh, it's on Amazon, $20, you gotta have it. So I was like, hmm, seems a little sketchy, but we'll try it. This dress actually comes in a bunch of different colors as well, um, but we stuck with the yellow just for the the SpongeBob vibes of it all. Yeah! And I have mixed feelings about what's going on. I think we all do, maybe. But no. <laughs> no, no, except for Sid, she really loves it. I like it in theory. I think I look like a walking starburst, or we're a bunch of Fanta girls. I love the color, I love the pattern. I just don't think it's made super well. It kind of fits tight in places on my body that I don't love, and then it's not tight in other places. It is adjustable, so you can tie it if you have like bigger boobs or a longer torso, but it is kind of short, and I just feel like I'm like doing this so I don't offend my coworkers, you know? Bunch of prudes. I'll show you guys the back in case you want to add a cart out in the audience. Yeah, I think we all should do it. Yeah, together. here's our backs, guys. Guys, this is I what we look like from behind. I have a clip in my hair, but I also want to be included. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I like about this dress is you can dress it up and dress it down, which we all love to say. I actually have a lot of similar feelings as you. Um, I feel like it's uh, loose-ish around this area, mm -hmm. which for me specifically in my body type, like if it's tighter, it's better. Yeah. But look, that's okay. I also feel like it kind of feels like a towel, but at the same time, <laughs> um, towels are good. I also, there's one note I have about the design, which is, I don't know about this placement mm. of this like U shape. It kind of looks like it's accentuating your uterus zone, lower stomach uh, area. Yes, and that's a part I always try to hide. Not that that's healthy or good, but yeah. uh, those are my thoughts. I love this dress. <laughs> um, I think this dress is fantastic. Olivia mentioned this part uh, being a little loose. It's tight on me because I am an Ashkenazi Jew and my uh, chest goes like that outward. 
It's what my dad's does. It's what my grandma's does. And that's how my rib cage goes. And now you know. Oh, and so this fits you know. perfectly on my barrel chested rib cage. And I love that because I like to show off my culture. <laughs> I love it too. And it does feel like a towel. Only good for me because then you feel like you're at the beach. Yeah. It does look like SpongeBob, only good for me. It reminds me of nostalgia and childhood. <laughs> so yeah, I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. Yes. I feel like it'd be a cool swimsuit cover up mm. as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think in theory that would be fun. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's just because it feels like towel. No, I think it would be a great swimsuit cover up. Um, I think I would be more likely to wear it as a swimsuit cover-up than anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I really like it. I feel covered, but still summery and mm -hmm. and fun. And I also feel like I could sweat a lot in this and dry it off <laughs> with the dress. You didn't even need to know that. For me, this was just like a seven out of 10. It was very safe, it's very fine. I think for 20 bucks, it's not a bad option. And there are a bunch of colors, but it's not quite 10 out of 10 for me. What about you? I didn't make it. <laughs> I, I'm not offended. I did not make this. I mean, I do give it a 10 out of 10, but that's just because I feel like I could totally wear this in a bunch of different locations. And to me, that's a really good item of clothing. Mm. I would put like a white, a, like an oversized white button down over Cute. this, open, sandals, mm. hair up, yes. walk somewhere. Uh, I give it a four out of 10 because I just don't think I'll ever, I wouldn't ever, if I, had the ability to give this away, I would probably. Are you guys gonna be friends after this? No. This is our viral round. It is thanks to Kelsey Floyd on TikTok that had over a million views on this shirt, which we were concerned that it would be a shirt, but I, in fact, it is a shirt, which is pretty surprising. It, lo it looks like a St. Patrick's Day scarf. Yes, it is. It keeps you warm, but also keeps you cool simultaneously. Um, and you may look at this and think, oh, that's a cute top. Can't wait to buy it. It's $95. So if you've got $95 to buy this top, I want to trade lives. I feel like you could crochet this if you learned how to crochet. Mm-hmm. I think the thing that made me the most upset going in was knowing that it was $95 and that it wasn't a shirt. And I think I was upset about that. And uh -huh. then I tried it on and now I'm really conflicted because I actually really like how it looks on me. Yeah, Olivia and I have it tied the way the girl in the video has it tied. And I have it tied as a mistake. But <laughs> apparently you can tie this in a bunch of different ways. So maybe mine is real and everybody else is just wrong. That's, yeah. that's how I look So at I it. found like loops in it and I just decided to shove things through and make it a grid. Yes, love grids. Keeps everything organized. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's funny that you mentioned that because yeah, there are loops here that allow you to kind Kind of like tie it probably and yeah it's really neat I, or if you need to restrain yourself or yeah, if there's if like you, extra cookies you, in the you cupboard need a, you need a sling yes mm. guys so many uses for this this scarf. is the i will say that i love the color i love how soft it is it does feel like good quality material it's thick it's not kind of cheapy but what you'd expect for something off of amazon or something so i love almost everything about it i just wish there was a way for you to guarantee that your boob won't come out. Yeah, I wish it came with like a money back guarantee of if your nip slips, we will absolutely we'll return you the $95, your $95 back. Yeah. How would you guys rate it? Ooh, that's hard. That's hard. As a shirt, is are we counting this? <laughs> yes. A $95 green okay. shirt. When you say $95, my rating goes down and that's the problem. I'll call it a seven. Mm. Because I think it has a lot of really fun things about it, but it's also $95 and to me it's not a shirt. It's like a thing you can wear as a shirt. Uh, I would also have to give this a, I'd have to give this a four. It's nice. really cute, but it's not practical and I would never wear it and I just feel like I'd rather spend $95 on something that I'm gonna wear all the time. Mm. Five? Mm. A generous, nice five. Nice. Like, I think it's fun and cool and it's an interesting idea and I like the idea of making something into a bunch of different things, but I don't like the idea of a piece of clothing you have to watch a YouTube tutorial to put on. Sid, Olivia, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank don't you for having us. Don't forget to go follow them on TikTok. If you haven't yet, you're going to giggle until you pee your pants, so make sure you don't have a full bladder when you watch it. Um, and if you want more clever style, you guys know how we do it here. There's another video right here on the screen. We make it really easy. It's playing right now. Just click it right now. Check it out.